Middle animations, specifically the group animations from middle animations and if we scroll down group animations to create a character animation. So this is a very nice feature that you can use and we will see how this works in a moment in here. But first of all, we need to set up our character in here with the images. So I have these different images in here already loaded up. So it is important to have them laid out in your composition in the correct place, since of course if we have them all mixed up in here, it won't make any sense. And it is also important to have the head also tied, parented, always parented to the torso or hips in this case. So in this case it is torso, but in here we refer to this as hips. So, and also the hands, we need to parent them to that torso or hips. So make sure that those are parented before you start using the, these animations. And also make sure that the images are laid out in here in a natural pose, as you can see, in a natural standing pose. So the hands are right next to the body in here, the feet right below, everything in order in here. So this is the right foot and this is the left foot. So the left represents the left side of the screen and the right represents the right side of the screen. Very simple. So once you have all your images laid out, you can simply go ahead and select one of your images and add, for instance, in here, I'm inside of the walk cycle in here. I can also choose walk stop, which will have the walk animation stop. So let's go to walk and loop walk head and add that to the head. Perfect. One thing to also note is that in here, the anchor point of this head is set to the bottom of the layer in here. To do that, simply go to the anchor point tool in here and click the bottom from there. Perfect. So the animation is done in there and if I have a preview on it, you can see a very simple animation to the head happening right over there. You can then add a loop walk hips to the torso. So hit apply, wonderful. And now we can add a loop walk left foot for the left foot. So make sure to select the left foot layer and add a left foot to, to the right foot, apply that to the left hand and apply that. And finally to the right hand. Wonderful. And now like that, I can see that I have added that loop cycle to the character. You can also use these presets. If you had a rig, a character rig, for instance, it would be already rigged up. So, and you can add these to the controllers. If you have specific controllers for the hand, for instance, you can add these presets right over there to create that walk cycle for your character rig. So another thing, another thing that we can add in here, there are some animations that we can combine with these group animations. So of course you can choose to combine anything of any of these. So if we had to, for instance, select all of these layers and add a simple scale ease animation here, you can see now that we can like scale this up and then start moving, which is very fancy. We can do things even like, for instance, position. So like that and have, it will come down and start walking like that. Very nice. So as you can see, you can see the flexibility that this offers you.